Hey guys, welcome back to Skyrim, and we're here in the depths of Erkenfan trying to follow Mercer Frey to recover the eyes of the Falmer. Now, in the previous part, oops, hang on a sec, folks. There we go. Um, in the previous part, we um, managed to reach the Slave Pen store, so we're just going to go through that right this minute. Because why not? Um, so here we are in the slave pens, and Drag Queen Dry Water says, Welcome back, Sag Cuck. You've got such terrible puns, mate. There we go. Yeah, of course it does. Of course, I have to keep silent. We are not going to be keeping ourselves silent. Oh, no, no, no. We're just going to charge right through and hope we don't get killed. I decided I'll just do a second part of, these, of this because it's not going to take too long to get through this. But I'm going to try and reach the um, the paths of Mercer Frey and reach the end of the quest in this part. Because I don't think it'll take us too long to reach this shit. Just let them kind of work their way in and out of that. Ebony may so petrified, chance to paralyze the target for six seconds, why not? And I'll just take that ring. <laughs> oh, I like that comment from Jack in the chat. Player dot add skill lock picking one million. Or 10 million or whatever it is. That's the best console command to use. But I'm not using console commands because it would be so obvious. That just failed epically. Because they detected me like fuckers. Oh, no, don't you dare. I'll bring you up. Why did you get in the way? I wanted to attack both of them. Those are just epically missing, really. And dead. This really isn't that difficult, to be honest with you. I mean, we're on master difficulty, but we've got, like, everything going our way. I mean, I'm level 45, nearly 46. Uh, oh, a thief. Um, I'm not going to waste my time reading those last words. You could just look them up on a wiki or the US. UESP. Blah. I can never see the words right. Uh, knife and fork. Oh, nice. Uh, not taking any of those poisons. Um, let's see, I don't think there's anything over here, no. Right, I'm gonna quick save here, because there's a nasty bit coming up in a second. Just work my way around those buttons. They always walk into the flames in the buttons, they're pillocks. I heard something. Yes, you did. You heard me casting spells. Destruction up to 69, that's good. Oh shit. Don't you dare a night prowler, how nice. Don't you dare shock me. Bugger, I'm dying. Literally. And I need to shoot up all of them. Um Bound sword, out you come for the win. I don't know if I just glanced a button. Oh no, I didn't. Shadow Master, please say. Oh no, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, no, no. You will not kill me, you lot. Jesus Christ, what is with their. They're very strong, these farmer, I can tell you that. 
Let's heal, let's heal, let's heal, let's heal. Carla, get out of the way, please. Get out of the flames, Jesus. Die. Oh no, no, ah! Oh! Shit. I died. <laughs> um, or at least I'm only just here. I hate their poisons. They die. They kill me so quickly. Never mind. Let's try again. Yeah, I was totally wrecked there, Volond. I totally was. And um, where's my. If I were gonna do. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna cast some Storm Action Axe instead because I've never actually used these. So I want to see how good they are. Oh my god, they're powerful. I think. Empowered Storm Action Axe. There's a perk that you get in Spurk. I'll just show you it now. In the Conjuration Tree. I think it's a Conjuration Tree. Uh, let's see. Um, no, 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 no. Is it this one? Yeah, this one. Elemental Potency. Conjured Archnax are significantly more powerful, I empowered. And you gain 25 resistance, good. Don't worry about this, uh, the not being able to save for the stream, Drac. Um, you'll be able to watch the, the VODs after the fact. The rest of the week. I'll get rid of that. Destruction's up to 69. I think it went up and now I've just re-leveled it again. Uh, still a few more enemies around here, but we're doing a lot better this time. Ow! That did so much damage! Look, I got nearly... I completely got wrecked there. Don't you dare! Jesus, what is with the health damage on these things? I mean, come on, I was nearly killed there. I know farmer are meant to be tough, but still, really, you don't need to kill me. I'll say that, that's probably what the point is. Oh, oh, I could have got him there. But I didn't. Die. There you go. Dead. Finally. Are all the enemies dead? Yes, they all are. Finally. Okay, let's just loot some of them now for the loot because we should always loot enemies. I thought there was a third one around here. Apparently not. Oh, there it is. A chest with a Stormlord helmet in it, apparently. Our Night Prowler here, and there's that Shaman's Key again. I love collecting gold. I don't know why, but I just like collecting lots of gold. I don't think there's any enemies around here, so let's just progress as best as we can. And there's a Chorus that's dead. That's good. Right, I believe we can go over this way. The locked gate, even though it's literally just like five meters along from the unlocked gate. Why, I don't know, but... Um, I suppose we could just do this. I suppose that's the benefit. Yeah, Dawnguard ch adds these things if you didn't work that out already. I'm pretty sure most of the viewers watching this already know that. Yeah, I can hear it too. And just so I don't have to go through that again, I'm quick saving. Uh, the music changes, signifying a change.
Hang on. It's doing it again. I have to press F to get in because. Every time I scroll with the mouse wheel to zoom in and out from the character, uh, the browser scrolls, which is not helpful in any way at all. Just take all that. No, don't you dare! And uh, I need to. Oh shit. Oh, there's a plain old farmer here, which I'll just kill pretty quickly. Well, I say very quickly, but it's getting in between all the other ones. They're all in the way. Ow! I got hit again. Ow! No, don't you dare, don't you dare. I want to single cast this like that. It's not dual cast it, but let's get the bound sword. Where the hell is the others? And ow, I just got hit. Not helpful. Brynjolf, why the hell are you and Carlyle all the way back here? Well, get in there. You're meant to be helping. Stop subverting your task. Because your task is to help, not be in the background. And there's Carlia there, who helps somewhat. Nothing in there. And I think over here is nothing. Probably it's supposed to be a spider there that's now dead. Or something. Take this carefully, I'm gonna rush this. Now I believe we can go over the top of these, so let's just do that. Not too slow. It sneaks up to 20 and I was just immediately detected. Oh well, that's just great. That just saved me all the hassle doing oh shit. Um let's get these out. Die, Chora, Santa. This is not fledgling either. I got some hits there though. There's the Chora Santa's there. And they're all dead. Nice. Over here, I believe, is a chest. An expert locked one. How nice. There we go. Oh look, Viking's up to 86, how nice. Another ebony bow. And some useful loot, I'll just take it all. You might be wondering why I'm picking up those bows, I'm just probably going to sell them for loot or something. Um, if you're the sneaky character, you can just go up along this pipeline here. Oops. And uh, yeah, te glitchy textures and all that. Uh, you can sneak all the way up along here and into this little bit here and round to avoid anything like this. Just get rid of that. Um, I've only got two viewers at the moment, that's okay. I think we're done with this little location, so let's just move on. Die farmer. These are just plain old farmer who will die very easily, like that. <laughs> the Dremora help. Why has he got a shovel? <laughs> oh, never mind. I think we're just about to reach Mercer, which is perfect. Yep, this is the bit just before Mercer. Oh, there's a master chest here. Let's try and lock pick this. I'm to fail. You're kidding me, I didn't even need to move it from the normal starting position. 
Let's see. Spell to conjure avenging wraith. Summons an avenging wraith for 240 seconds. Its stats are equal to 150% of those of the opponent that last killed it. With a default of 50 health, 50 magic and 50 stamina. That's pretty obvious. But of course, if the last person it killed was stronger, it would have 150% of that health. So I'll just leave the rest of it there. Uh, let's see, I don't think there's anything here. Um, open gate and quick save. Certain of it. We must prepare ourselves. Of course we do. This is it. We do this for Gallus and for the guild. Yep. Then we go to Erkenfan Sanctuary, which has no door opening animation. Here goes one. Climb down that ledge. See if you can. Carlisle, when will you learn you can get the drop? Whoa, powerful shockwave there. And we just fall into position like that. Oh god. Hey Mercer. When Brynjolf brought you before me, I could feel a sudden shift in the wind. Oh really? At that moment I knew it would end with one of us at the end of a blade. And that person will be you. Give me the skeleton key, Mercer. What's Carlyle been filling your head with? Tales of thieves with honor? Oats ripe with falsehoods and broken promises? Really? No. Nocturnal doesn't care about you, the key, or anything having to do with the guild. If you say so, Mercer, but I don't believe you because this is personal. Revenge, is it? Have you learned nothing from your time with us? I've learned a lot. You open your eyes and realize how little my actions differ from yours. Both of us lie, cheat, and steal to further our own end. Well, the difference is I have the honor not to do that. It's clear you'll never see the skeleton key as I do, as an instrument of limitless wealth. Instead, you've chosen to fall over your own foolish code. Well, then you're an idiot. Person who's going to be falling is you. Then the die is cast, and once again my blade will taste nightingale blood. Nope, because I'm going to. No, you're not going anywhere, Mercer. I'm going to. Oh shit, he's invisible, bugger. Uh, where's five? Ah, uh, yeah, you get them to stuck out. Uh, there's Mercer all the way over here. No, nope, Mercer, you're gonna die. I know he's basically a light. And I get to kill him. That wasn't too difficult. Die, Mercer. Shadows take me. He's got a lot of stuff. He's got a dwarven sword of devouring. Let's take he's got a couple of flawless gems here. Let's take them. Glass bowl of immobilizing. Okay, fine, we'll take that. 800 gold, left eye of the farmer. That's a lot of potions. Right eye, sapphire, and skeleton key. And there we go. Oh, I agree. Just to the gold. All I have to do is wait for the bodies to float up. Just get a quick save here. It's not like I can die in the water anyway because um, uh, I have the perk in alteration to spare guards that allows me to survive in the water and I'll never die because I can breathe underwater so in this case it's okay I can see everything I don't have to worry. Now I can't remember where the opening is I think it's over there or something I'm not sure. I don't know where the opening is. I can never remember. Um, where is it? 
I don't think the water goes right up to the top, but it might do. Cannot see the opening, come on. Or is it just here? Ah, here it is. Found it. It eventually opened its way to me. Just gonna wait for the water to rise enough, and then we can exit. Into whatever the hell this is. Um, Bronze Water Cave, that's it. That's the name of the place. I couldn't remember what it was called. Speak to Carlia, and Lydia will be here for us. Because she's teleported to this location. Yes, you do have important things to talk about. Let's get everyone through here. Here's Lydia, come on. Look, there's a chest, and just search it while they come through. Come on, Lydia, move. Lydia, I need you to shift, please. Right, Lydia. Oh, never mind, I can talk to her like this. Oh, you just teleport, it's okay. All that remains is to ensure the safe return of the skeleton key. Yeah. It sounds like it'll be a simple task, but I know it's not. I'm afraid it's not that simple. When the skeleton key was stolen from the Twilight Sepulchre, our access to the inner sanctum was removed. Well, that seems simple enough, doesn't it? Bring it back will be through the Pilgrim's Path. Not too good. I take it you've never used said Pilgrim's Path. It wasn't created for the Nightingales. It was created to test those who wish to serve Nocturnal in other ways. As a consequence, I have no knowledge of what you'll be facing. Good. Let's get started. Brynjolf is needed back at the Thieves' Guild to keep order while you're away. And I... I can't bear to face Nocturnal after my failure. I don't think you want to say that to her face I'm now, would you? I'm you have to face the end of your journey alone. Don't worry, I'm going to return the key because I'm not going to keep it. Take this with you. I'm not certain if it will help within the walls of the Sepulchre. I certainly don't need it as much as you. I've had this bow almost my entire life, and it's never let me down. I hope it brings you the same luck. It would bring me luck because I'm not going to use it. Nightingale, uh, Nightingale bow gained, and let's start Darkness Returns. No, I'm not going to ask for any of your information because I don't care. Let's see, what per uh, skill tree am I going to get up? Destruction up to 70, that's perfect. Yeah, of course you do. Bye, Brynjolf. Let's head back out to Skyrim. And, um... End the stream shortly, I think. Bronze Water Cave discovered. And there's a dragon over there. I don't want to pick a fight with it. So we went in... There and went all the way around in a circle up to Bronze Water Cave. Seems legit. Now, the place we have to go to is the Twilight Sample Car down here. So, uh, we're going to have to fast travel to somewhere like Fall Creef. But before I do that, I want to dump a lot of stuff, because I've got quite a lot of loot that I want to get rid of. So let's go to the College of Winterhold, because that's my base, basically. I've got a lot of junk stuff there. Hopefully we're not going to come into attack from a dragon. Just clear out this snow, because it gets on my tits something chronic. And what's everyone doing with their their readying poses? Anyway, let's enter the Hall of the Elements and into the Archmage's quarters. To dump all this loot. Now the I can't remember where what well, where goes where? Let's open the container. Oh, this goes all my um, gems and shit. So let's put in. All that. And I think there's also ingots here. Just put all that in there as well. I'll sort it out another time. Apparently no one is watching his stream right now, that's just great. I'm streaming to non-existent people, apparently. 
cupboards. I'll just fill that away later. Casket. No keys, so let's just put all these keys away. And uh, what's in this little bit here? Bows. Secured chest with scrolls in it, apparently. Um, I think I'll clear out this other stuff that I've got in my my repertoire later. I'm gonna leave it there for this uh, stream. I've done quite a bit. I know this second part, uh, part 82, will be a bit shorter than normal, but can't help that. Just bring this up, just so you can see my lovely face of Methanian. So, thanks for watching these two videos for Skyrim. In part 83, we're going to go and return the Skeleton Key to the Se Twilight Sepulchre and complete the Thieves Guild main quest and then move on to Undeath, possibly. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in another video. Bye now.